Well, hello. Today we're talking about recording in Reason and setting the basic setting for your recording. So this is part three. Stay tuned. Hello, welcome back. My name is Jose Velez from jvcreationstudio.com and if you're new here, consider subscribing. So, this is part three, recording audio, but if you missed part one, uh, we, in part two, we were talking about setting everything with MIDI, with keyboard, uh, and doing some sequencer, and already have some instrument that we record with a piano or with uh, doing with the mouse, drawing notes in the sequencer with the mouse. And today we're gonna do audio. So let's get started. So before we record audio, uh, you will need to have a audio interface. I have a picture here for a Scarlett with two channels. You need uh, headphones and of course the microphone. This is a condenser microphone, but you can use a dynamic microphone. This is a dynamic microphone. This is a uh, Shure's uh, 57 that will work fine or a condenser. I'm going to use a condenser and I'm going to be using the Scarlett as an example too. Yes, yeah, set up your interface USB or a mixer. You can use a mixer that is, I also have this one that is um, USB mixer Yamaha and I have two channel here too and all these EQs and compressor but we're gonna use this one the Scarlett as an example and then you're gonna go to the preference so you're gonna go to the preference here you're gonna be coming a lot because here you're gonna be setting up and finding your interface see this is the Scarlett and this is the Yamaha gonna be using the Yamaha but uh, if we're gonna be using the Scarlett as an example a 44 sample rate or 48 or higher for me 44 is okay uh, here the buffer side for recording you have to go lower as possible for mixing then you're gonna go higher but experiment with your computer because if your computer is not fast enough then you can then be in the meter 500 i will say start like in 256 samples and then you have latency 10 milliseconds or if you can go lower it's even better in my computer this is an imac kind of new so i can go lower but let's get something into 256. Here we go. And connect the cable. Let's see that, that you have the interface and then you're gonna use one uh, for your microphone. Or you can use a guitar line, a quarter. You put it in instrument. Let's pretend we're gonna do the in microphone then connect it into uh, the XLR and then you're gonna be checking the gain up uh, and here this light's gonna go green or red green's good red is peaking distorted so you don't want to get there I say you're gonna go from three to five or even less but that's okay if you have a then a condenser then we have to get the phantom power to work the 48 board for the condenser and direct monitor we need that to monitor with our headphone and you're gonna uh, put this lower so you're not gonna use the speaker if you have a speaker monitor speaker you're gonna turn those off or turn this down because you're gonna use your headphone so this is your headphone jack your volume for your headphone and direct monitor is off but I said like put it on so you can hear in your headphone 
what is going on. And by the way, this is work for many of the program. It's almost the same process for any DAW, any program, Logic, Pro Tool, Studio One, Sonar, Ableton, the list go on and on. So it's fine. We're gonna open a new channel now. This is what we did last time. Yeah, so if you missed part one, part two, check it out. We were doing some MIDI. All of this is MIDI from Reason Instrument there. We're gonna come here, add the track, create audio. It's gonna open a channel in the mixer and it's gonna open the channel in the sequencer, in the mixer, and also in the rack. So we can see now here the rack. Let's open this up. Here in the rack, you have, here you have the mute, the solo, the bypass. If you have here the insert, you can open the insert. And then here you can put your effect, your compressor, your EQ, your delay. You can put it here in the insert. Here you have the fader, which is here in the mixer. Here you have your fader and it's here. So you, if, if I put that lower here, it's gonna move here, see? It's the same. Here you have your EQ meter and more, but those, the, don't worry. The basic is there. And enable here your track for recording. And find here in the input find your uh, if you're using channel 2 or channel 1 if you are mono if you are stereo right now I'm in mono because I'm gonna record just the vocal or the guitar now if you want to hear effects then you're gonna engage your monitor here if you had the direct monitor, we talk about this. If you put the direct, direct monitor here, then you're gonna hear in the, in the headphone without latency. If you put here the monitor here, then you can hear the effects. So you, I can put right now echo. One, two, three. One, two, three, and hear that, see? So you can check the ball way without and with and see. I usually, I do it all, all the time with my effects, so I record wet, but you can record dry, so let's do it dry. Okay, so we're ready to check that now the level. So in your gain knob, rise that or lower that until you are on minus 12 or minus uh, 20 from minus 20 to minus 12 so I'm gonna go to the hardware interface and the big meter click here and then click the channel until you get to your channel right now I am here because I was changing here the wheel channel 1 and then select your channel input right now I'm in one peak mode here you can change this and now you can see my, my peak here from minus 20 to minus 12 hey hey check one two three check one two three you want to be there in around there that's a clean and healthy signal and we're ready to go so let's do a record here you have the stop the record button here you have the click and pre-count pre-count you're gonna have one bar before we start and then we start recording if you need more if if one bar is doesn't enough for you go to option 
go to the number per bars and then you can set it up to two. I'm gonna leave it at one, but there is the option. And then here you have the volume. If you need that click to be higher or lower, you can set it up there. So let's do a little counting here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you can edit your wave there. Let's listen. One, two, three, four. Okay, nice. But we're gonna record the guitar, so I'm gonna add another track. Oh, you can name it. And this is gonna be the, the second one's gonna be the guitar. And it's gonna be in the number one. And you can use the tuning. So let's bring it up and let's use the tuning here. Let's change the camera. So here I have the tuning. I like to have the microphone like in 12 uh, inch away near to the sound hole and the 12 fret. And there you go. I'm gonna take away the tuning. Now it's ready. Taking the chords are A minor, F, D minor, and G. If you want to follow along, one, two, three, four. Okay, so here's the guitar, insert, now I can put in the guitar, here's the signal, it's not too high, it's not too low, for me it's about there, which is good, and here I have three waveforms that I can put to see the, the, the signal. Now let's reset everything. One, two, three, four. Hey, what do you think? We don't have effect, we don't have EQ, we don't have compression. So it came there. Of course, we can do and do two guitars and go crazy, and then later we can learn about comping, but that will be for another uh, episode. So I hope to enjoy this episode and setting this up. I hope this was helpful, guys. So remember to smash the like. Subscribe if you're not ready. There's more coming. Leave me some comment down below if I left something. There's a lot to cover. And at the beginning, you don't have to learn every button. You just have to get started. And little by little, you get to learn everything. <laughs> uh, check out my website. Link down below. I have free uh, track. I have tutorials for mixing, for mastering. Here in this channel, check out the playlist. And check out my Facebook community that uh, you're going to see link down below in my description. Thank you guys. And see you next time. So check out for part four. Thank you.